Hey Simleys, it's Deligracy here with a review of the new Cool Kitchen Stuff Pack. I'm super excited about this stuff pack because it's got some awesome hairstyles in it by the looks of it because I haven't actually had a go at it in game myself yet, but I'm pretty excited about the hairs. It's got some nice new um, like build by mode stuff or more by mode stuff and also an ice cream maker. So mm. that's pretty exciting. To show off some of the Kaz items to begin with, I'm actually using this uh, sim called Pepper made by, I think, DNB Sned, unless I got Unless DMB Sned made this one, which is David Holmes. These were under the hashtag Deligracy, but the other creator was N Perry 122 or N Perry. What? No, N Perry 122. So I hope it's okay. I've borrowed your Sims. Um, but, anyways, uh, let's check out the new hair. Let's do it. So, this is what I'm most excited about. I'm loving the hair. So there's a lot of volume on this. It goes quite high up, maybe a little bit slightly. I would have probably made it a little bit lower because it's a little bit OTT, but I still like it. I'm still excited about it. Here's it in a few different colors. It's a nice side swept ponytail with some, a bit of a cut fringe there. So I like that. And then this one, if we change it to a less out there color, very nice. This is what I kind of think in a darker color, especially on this sim, would be really good looking mum hair. <laughs> okay. But then, you know, maybe on a teen sim, obviously it's going to be quite different. Red hair looks awesome, actually. The sims on Twitter released um, a picture of a sim in this hairstyle and I actually loved the sim they put it on. So she's looking really nice, really nice. We also have a few short shorter hairdos um so this is nice it's got kind of shorter at the back longer at the front cute little headbands uh definitely oh. very cute in some bright colors i like that very cute see very pretty and this one's another one of my favorites i am really into this short sharp hairdo and i love it in red this is cool i also saw this on Twitter and got pretty excited about it. So obviously these hairstyles are for adults, young adults, teens, and also elders. So these won't be for children. I don't think we, oh, how cute is that bun? I love that bun. This is like my hair. That's because I have relatively thin hair. Um, but I think the thing I have is thin hair, but a fair bit of it, but it still means it's thin. Um, but that's what happens when I put my hair into a bun. Oh my gosh. I like this one. I like this one. And yeah, so that's it for hair for the girls. I'm just going to double check on children. I'm pretty sure there's no new hair for kids with this stuff pack. But just in case, um, what did this one, did this come with it? I don't think, did it? Wait, I'm confused. Cool kitchen. No, no, it didn't come with cool kitchen, but this is a cool hairstyle. Uh, okay, that came with get to work. Gosh, I'm behind the times, clearly. Um, but okay, so we've just got the teens and adults, young adults and elders hair, which makes sense. It's a kitchen pack. Uh, I don't, I wouldn't have expected kids stuff to be in it so I'm not bummed out, out by that at all let's put the red hair on this girl uh pepper whilst we have a little bit of a scan through the new clothes so we've got this cute little apron outfit really nice contemporary looking apron we've got it in checkered it's cute so you can get down and messy in the kitchen making your ice cream nice one and I think that's it for, yeah, so that's it for the full outfits. In terms of tops, these are pretty nice. So, oh, let's put some pants on her because I just feel like she's probably feeling a little bit exposed. Uh, we'll put a plain black skirt on for now. But this is, this is pretty nice. Uh, it's got a nice scarf going around it. Lots of very bright, vibrant colors. I'm feeling like they really wanted to make this pack very positive and bright and energetic so that's really nice to see and this one is 
awesome because this could be used in conjunction with, um, you know, the new yoga and well-being skill. I think that's pretty handy for activity wear as well. Hmm. Nice little denim jacket here. But yeah, a lot of yellow features, a lot of red, blues. Um, that's more of a neutral one. Definitely all handy stuff. And this is very geometric. So a bit of a geometric blazer happening or jacket happening. I like it. It's nice and casual. This is cool. Ooh. Ooh. That's what I thought when I saw it too. I... Yeah, there's actually a lot of hints of yellow. I feel like there was a color palette for this pack when they were designing it and there was yellow, like this bright yellow in there. What do you guys reckon? Because we've got a bit of yellow in here. And it's quite a quite a statement. <gasps> yes, I love it when there's new textures in the game. So this is... Oh, that's fun. I get excited when there's a texture I've never seen in the game. I'm actually really hanging out for... Look at that sparkle. Isn't that lovely? So nice. I'm really, really, really hoping that we get a metallic gold in this game at some point because we never really had that in sims 3 and if you guys know me well which a lot of you do i have a slight obsession with gold i love i love gold i love it and then this is a yeah this is just a nice a nice top it's just it's just nice nice uh let's look at the pants situation or the bottom situation awesome three-quarter pants i like these very nice got some rips in there there's the yellow coming in again and oh, oh mm, love this skirt love it love it love it love it can we get rid of this how cute is this skirt mm -hmm. i love loving the asymmetrical wrap skirt this is definitely something I'm going to use on my fashionable sims on my sims that probably I want to make them look really Ooh. kind of sophisticated perhaps with more of a blouse or something um, and also teen sims so that's going to be really useful we've got some flares happening bringing the flares back damn I feel like flares just keep hmm. trying to come back, but they haven't, they never quite succeed in being back in. <laughs> I don't, I don't know. It's just how I, it's just how I feel about flares, but in the Sims, I mean, that's cool. Okay. So no new accessories for cool kitchen. <laughs> and in terms of shoes, uh, we usually get shoes in a stuff pack, but it doesn't look like it this time. Okay. That's cool, but I'm I'm pretty happy with this because the clothes aren't the focus of the stuff pack, so that's pretty cool. Um, I doubt there's any new traits or anything because you just don't get new bar. traits Quaver. in a small pack, so that's definitely not expected. Uh, male hair. Let's see if we can get David Holmes some nice new locks. Ooh, so we have the the model man hair. Sexy side sweep. Hmm. Hmm. So, yeah. Sexy side sweep. I feel like this guy, the guy, my sim who has this oh, hairstyle, would spend more time on his hair than I do on my own. And then we've got this nice kind of Kelly Welly one. I like that. That's cute. That's cute. I'm just getting a good look at the graphics up close. I have to say, when we when we first saw The Sims 4, I wasn't that big on this kind of hairstyle, and I'm still not sold on it when it's kind of, if it makes sense, leafy looking. I'm not as keen on it, so I much prefer the hairstyles that are a bit less, uh, less intense, really, in that sense. Um, facial hairs, doubt we'll have anything new. Accessories... Oh, I didn't do, uh, I didn't check the accessories for the girl's jewelry, actually. Um, what's that? I don't think that came with this stuff pack. 
I get confused when there's a, when there's a star on it because I think, oh my God, it did come with it. Oh, so cool. So we got a necklace. That's a really pretty necklace too. Woo, exciting. Mm -hmm. Lucky we checked on that. Uh, okay, so no accessories there for the guys, but we are definitely going to have some new clothes. Seeming the girls had quite a selection. So we've got this kind of blazer top with striped top underneath. Um, yeah, nice. I like this um, the sweater underneath. Again, very bright, very ice creamy looking. You know what? Good on him. Good on uh, any guys who wear bright colors because there really needs to be more of you. Really does. Ooh. Very zippy. This oh, is going oh. to, I'm going to like, I'm going to really enjoy using this on some of my Sim characters. Yes, I like this. Maybe if I have a designer Sim or an artist Sim with really skinny black tight jeans. Oh, yay, I love this. Who does this remind me of? This is like the Aiden top, the Aiden top from Sex and the City. Love it. You could definitely see this with a bit of double denim happening. Uh, this is kind of cool. It's like a old school style embroidery pattern, but then it's got skulls on it. I appreciate that, whoever made that graphic. Or you could just say that it's pixelated, but I think it looks more like a Christmas jumper kind of look and feel, but with skulls. These are really nice clothes for guys. Oh, look, new texture. Yeah, the fur, in introduction of fur, you guys. That is exciting. That looks awesome. Oh my gosh, I really want when they, if they, if they, and when they uh, release some kind of seasons expansion in The Sims 4, I would love to see lots of fur stuff, like vests with a turtleneck underneath or something. Oh, that would be beautiful on females or males. But yeah, I'm really liking these. I, I think these are very classy ones for boys. And this is, <laughs> this is pretty cute. Very nice. But I think they're spoiling us a lot with the cards. Like, this is a lot of items. There's the yellow coming in. This definitely has a uh, more sporty feel to it again. I ain't complaining, though. And good. We've got an apron here. This will be great. Grilling on the barbecue as well. Do like that. And in terms of bottoms, we have a nice new pair of jeans. Which is... Oh, I like these maroon ones. They are... They are very sexy jeans. <laughs> I like them. Okay, now let's let's check out all of the build items. All right, so let's have a look at what items we have here. Oh no, Pepper's busting. Sorry, girl, you're gonna have to hold on for a while. Oh, look at that falling leaf in midair. Isn't that? Just picturesque, Ugh, beautiful. <laughs> Anyways, let's get into looking at all of these new items. Now I'm hoping they've all come up here because I know sometimes I get a little confused with if they come up or not. Uh, but just to be sure, I'm gonna filter the items and we're just gonna filter them as the cool kitchen stuff back. Okay, so first up we have some very nice chairs. Very bright, definitely goes with the ice cream theme really nicely. Um, loving this yellow. Yeah, super cool. And we have some matching bar stools. I'm actually quite into the swatches and the color palette. And these are the new, um, the new counters. So I was actually asking for another contemporary counter for our kitchens, because I was getting a little bit sick of the other ones, so I'm excited about this. One thing I would love to see is some more textured tops. I really like when there's stone tops available, but I would also really like another wooden top available. Um, but I mean, this is really nice in any case, so uh, this is cool. This is definitely cool. And of course, we're going to have those available in the counters that you can add bar stools to tool too. That's cool. Oh, I'm so excited for this pack. Let's just build a wall. Uh, just get a wall happening. And 
Oh no. Is this gonna muck up? Oh no. Cool. We all G. Um oh yay! So this is another thing I'm I'm pretty stoked about is having glass see-through cabinets because for the other cabinets we've had glass but you have to get the other cabinet pieces to um see the glass so this is cool it's nice um and then these are kind of the different pieces we have available but nice to have full glass ones and i actually reckon you could use these in conjunction with the other ones that we have and this is a more kind of corner corner one um so that's really nice in a range of colors that match the counters or the bench tops we don't really call them counters in australia that often or at least people i know don't like super duper nice dining table oh that is like i love that kind of wood i'm trying to find that kind of wood in a table in my room oh that's quite glam in a way Oh, I love these. I really cannot wait to do a build with these. I really can't. Uh, okay. And then this is a cookbook nook. Oh. And these are... Okay, I can already definitely see people stacking these, doing some cool stuff with move objects on cheat. And we do have a new sink too. Ooh. I think that's definitely a slightly different... The texture's been Im improved on that from the ones in the base game, I'm pretty sure. Let's just compare. Let's take a moment to compare this. So... Did we have anything? Yeah, okay. So this texture's definitely got, in my opinion, a more of a stainless steel feel about it. I don't... Maybe I'm just tripping. I don't know. You guys let me know. But this definitely looks like it has a gradient on it that's way more convincing than these ones. Um, so I'm pretty happy about that. And because um, these things were looking pretty flat. A little bit clay-like. So pretty stoked about that. Let's go back to showing all and filter these to Cool Kitchen. All right. So moving down the list... Um, we've got these really nice, oh, they're so cute. Oh, aren't they pretty? There's the yellow again. Oh, they are sick. I love these. Whoever designed these, you did a really nice job. And I really like this color combo because it's quite unusual. If we go over here, what is this? It's a chicken. Oh, that's so wrong. That is Sims humor in a nutshell. A llama meat diagram. That's pretty funny. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, I want to see more of this. This is cool. Oh my gosh, this is kind of... I can see this in a Scandinavian kind of build. Oh, these are so cool. Oh my God, there's so many of them. How cool are the chilies? Oh my god, these are such pretty prints. Oh, okay, this is just this. Art. What? They keep going. This is the best wall art in The Sims ever. Like, what? Oh my god. Oh my god. It just keeps going. Okay, now we're back at the beginning. If we try and. Oh my gosh, that is so cool. Yes, finally we're adding more uh, swatches. How cute are these? Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Putting like this next to this, like color coordinating them in the house. They're so cool. And I love that there's a real mix of abstract and more illustration. And if we, if we keep having these kind of graphics in the game, that's going to make me really happy. I love that. That kind of vector imagery. That's so cool. Oh, I'm stoked. I really am. And I'm not being biased because some. whenever I do a review, there's always comments. They're like, she's just biased because the Sims tell her to say what she says. And um, 
I wish I had that kind of contact with The Sims, but I don't. And I wouldn't say stuff that I didn't believe anyway. So just to make that clear, these are cute. I'm assuming these are salt and pepper shakers. Yep, they're really nice. Uh, got some cool plates. Was that gold? Oh my God. It's so, it's so close to gold. It is kind of gold, but it's not. But it, oh, we're getting there. We're getting closer to it. <gasps> books. That's a nice, healthy stack of books right there. Really nice graphics on them. What's this? Mr. Hodley's wood block. Is this meant to be a, like um, a chopping board on the wall? Oh, yeah. See, it's got the knife. Uh, the knife kind of marks in it. What's this? Ooh, spices. I bought a new spice today. I forgot what the spice was, though. It was really, really, it was really, really nice. Um, it started with H. I don't know. Oh, the red, the red one's cute. Have they included more swatches in this? Well, not necessarily, but... I really like the color scheme. Okay, shelving. Wow, this is a nice looking shelf. Let's just get rid of these. Ooh, that's an, that's, ooh, that's nice. I'm loving the neutrals. Oh, a bit of red in there. I'm telling you guys, these, uh, these are on point these color schemes. Let's, whoa. Just put this on. Cheeky, sneaky, cheaty. Okay, so we've got really nice lights. Uh, different, oh, is that gold? That's semi-gold. Oh, we just need a little bit darker, just a little bit more, but not orange and I'll be ecstatic, but that's really nice. Um, nice to see another steam catcher. I think that's a really nice design as well. I was kind of missing that one. And new fridge, but it's still short. Hmm, ooh, that's nice. Cool fridge, I like the fridge. I just wish they were a little bit taller. And we've got a new electric stove top. How much is this one? 1,400, so it's not, it's relatively expensive, but it's not primo demo. So that is such a cute stove in the blue. And then this, my friends, is the moment we've been waiting for. Okay, let's check this out. Let's get, <laughs> let's, well, let's see the colors for starters. So we've got, this is the ice cream maker in case you guys didn't realize. And obviously we're going to make it pink to begin with because it's just what's going to happen. Let's get a David over here who has his shirt off to make some ice cream. So there's heaps of flavors you can make. As your skill level goes up, I'm pretty sure there's actually an ice cream skill, ice cream making skill or oh, could just be cooking. Don't quote me on that. I'm not sure I need to check. Need to check back. But obviously you need to increase your skill to make more flavors. And sometimes when you eat a certain ice cream, your sim will feel a certain way. And whoa, crazy dragon's breath. Now this one, I'm pretty sure it makes you breathe fire, which is cool. And one of them turns you green. So let's make some pistachio. I doubt this is going to make us green straight off the bat, but oh, how cute are those flowers? So nice. All right. Doesn't he look handsome in his schmexy jeans? Ah, <laughs> oh, it's so nice cooking outside. That was quick. Oh, I thought it was ready. <laughs> oh dear. A little bit of this, a little bit of that. Craft ice cream. Is he crafting? Oh yeah, he's crafting. I like the little sound it makes. It's a nice sound effect. Ooh, we can watch it too. Huh? Oh, the spoon actually went into that. <laughs> oh, oh uh, it's really funny. The actual interaction with it's pretty detailed. Is it ready? 
Oh my god, the suspense is real. <laughs> Just want to see the pistachio. David has finished creating a carton of pistachio gelato. The carton oh, has been added to his inventory. <laughs> All right, so here it is. Grab a bowl, grab a cone, set garnish, set topping. Okay, so we can put a, say we want, ooh, we can do a bit of whipped cream on it and garnish it with flowers. <laughs> She's like, I want to have some. Hey. Hey, buddy, Zonks we're making ice cream here. Oh, he's already done it? Oh, I get it, so I have to grab a cone. Whoa! That's so cute, and it's got a little flower in it. Oh, I love it, with the little whipped cream on top. That is very, very cute. Let's make another one. Craft ice cream. Ooh! Wait, how come she can make more? Does she already have skill? Oh, so it is a cooking skill. There's not an ice cream making skill. That's that's my bad. So he only has one cooking skill and she has three. So we can actually make something um, weight of the world, peach and yogurt. Something a little bit more fancy schmancy. Pure perfection. Let's do weight of the world, because I don't really understand that. I'm going to speed this one up a little bit, because I want to see a result. I want to see results, and I want the results now. That's how we roll. Okay, so she's finished. Just please don't pee your pants. Uh, okay, so let's do something slightly different. Let's set a garnish. We're going to do peppermint sticks. And our topping this time is going to be sprinkles. Love sprinkles. And we might grab a bowl this time. Oh, so cute! I kind of like the bowl better than the cone, I think. I love that it's in a clear bowl, because that could have... That could have, uh... That could have been different. Take a few screenshots of this because it's very, very cute. Wow, her plum bobs the same color as her hair. But yeah, anyways, let's just have, let's sum this uh, stuff back up. So I've heard a lot of people say, you know, there's not enough in it. Um, it's really lacking. There's more Kaz items than kitchen items. And you know what? I really like it. I'm stoked with it. This is $14.99 in Australia. That's how much it costs. So $14 and, uh, sorry, $15. And I, you know, I personally think that's worth, worth it. Um, I think these are amazing. This is probably my favorite part. I love the hairstyles. The actual content's really strong. Uh, and yeah, it's great. I don't know. I I'm de I think it's more quality than quantity for this stuff pack. And yeah, the other stuff packs probably might have had more in them or feel like they have more. But this one, I, I'm really thrilled with it. So I don't know. Me personally, I'm happy. What do you guys put it like comment what you think in the comments down below and I'll be sure to read them and interested to hear your thoughts. Um, but anyways... Thanks for watching. I hope you're having a lovely morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are on the world, and I'll speak to you soon. Oh no, she just wet her pants of excitement. Let's say the excitement of a new stuff pack. That's awkward. Oh no, what a way to end. <laughs> Anyways, I'll speak to you soon.